Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. Thank you for watching. What would you think of a family that is in dire straits financially because they've been spending far more money than they earn? Their house is bigger than they can afford. They drive the latest luxury sports cars, wear lavish jewelry, and eat out at five-star restaurants every day of the week. And now they're about to lose everything they have because they're so deep in debt they can barely pay the interest on their credit cards. So they have a family meeting and decide that there is only one way out of their predicament. They need more credit cards. <laughs> that would be a family so stupid they would qualify for their own reality TV show. They would be a family that we as Americans should be ashamed of. Well, the family that I'm describing is the United States Congress, and that's exactly what they're doing with our national debt. Not only did our Congress spend this nation into oblivion, they also borrowed $800 billion from China and spent that. Then they borrowed $800 billion from Japan and spent that too. Economic disaster is hanging over our heads like a guillotine. And the only solution they can come up with is they need more credit cards. In other words, they want to raise the debt limit so they can spend even more. They have sucked every dime of prosperity out of the most prosperous nation on earth. And these are the same people who are constantly lecturing us on how we need to learn how to conserve. They say that we, the American citizens, are the most wasteful in the world. The arrogance of these congressmen is beyond enraging. Make no mistake about it, these people belong in prison, not in Congress. But elected fools in Congress are not the worst fools in America. The fools who are truly destroying America, I call super fools, those who vote these liberals into office. Now one lady on my Wild Bill for America website sent me a quote from the Czech Republic. Listen to this. The danger to America is not Barack Obama, but a citizenry capable of entrusting a man like him with the presidency. The Republic can survive a Barack Obama, who is, after all, merely a fool. It is less likely to survive a multitude of fools such as those who made him their president. <laughs> Wow, that came from a country that suffered for years under the horrible economic policies of communism. They see us moving in that direction, and they're trying to warn us. A fool, elected by super fools, is driving us to destruction. Liberalism will destroy America unless we destroy it first. In 2012, we have to vote out every single liberal Democrat who is up for election and every single Republican who supports raising the debt ceiling. And now <laughs> that I think about it, super fool season is almost upon us. We will soon see them driving around with Obama 2012 bumper stickers. Those are the people who are wrecking this country. But you can't fix stupid, so we're stuck with them. But we can sure get rid of the spending money monkeys in Congress. This is Wild Bill for America. Thanks for watching, and God bless America again.